Juventus Durana. Sometimes I ask myself, am I really the first deaf lawyer? Because um, it, it, it seems more like a dream. You know, out of the 777 students, I'm really, really inspired. Personally, I'm inspired myself because um, it has been a, a long time dream. Juventus was not born deaf. He lost his ability to hear at the age of nine. Because I was sick, I became a deaf person. I didn't know what to do. So 1996, I came back to school again. And there was a school for the deaf in Wa. So that's what school for the deaf. I went there. I was the only one, you know, who passed. So I had to, you know, come to Mampong Senior High School for the deaf. When I was done, I came back and I applied to the University of Ghana. That was where I studied political science and um, sociology. I also did um, religion. 2012, I was done with the university. The first deaf person to go to Legon direct from high school. He tells me Juventus was not his birth name. Honestly, my name is J U V N T I um, S. I think it's Juventus. Okay. But that, 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 that's what I know. But when I went to school, when I was a child, when I went to school, the teachers, when they heard that they knew for the result, ah, this name sounds more like Juventus, like the football club. And that's what, and that became Juventus since then. He recounted his journey to become a lawyer. When I went to UK and then got my LLB, came back, I was more inspired. I tried my first attempt, the entrance exams. I, it wasn't successful. So the following year, I said, no, let me go back, change my strategy, and rewrite again. I wrote the second time, and I passed. I want to really say thank you to the director, Dr. Yawapon. He showed true leadership. Actually, the director told me that, honestly, um, we are here in the law school. They will not allow your disability or anything to hinder you from studying law. We'll make sure that you get the best interpreters to encourage you study. So the two interpreters that I suggested, the law school accepted them and picked them. And these two interpreters have been with me from day one. And the school was the one paying them. It's amazing how we are able to interpret for him. And sometimes we wonder if he's able to uh, articulate everything that we are interpreting because it's really stressful. And the thing is that we are not lawyers. We have never been to the law school. So for us, it was, everything was just new. We had to come up with new science for new technologies. We had to spell so many things. Even some of the things we don't understand. So we asked him. He knows what he's doing. So he explained it to us. Then we come up with a sign for it. He wants to use his story to inspire others and advocate for persons with disability. His wife and children are proud of his achievement. I'm so proud of my husband because um, in Ghana, he's the first deaf person to be a lawyer. I'm, 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 I'm actually inspired. I'm very proud that he's the first lawyer who is deaf in Ghana. I also want him to give me his lawyer's book so that I can read some so that I'll get more knowledge, so that when I grow up, I can also learn it better. Juventus had a message for persons with disability. I don't think that being a disabled person is the barrier, no. Portia Gabor, TV3 News.